This website checker from Microsoft Excel is very easy to use. Once installed it simply puts a website checker button on your Excel menu and simply then go and select Spider Site. This brings up the form, this is all you need to add. Just really two things, one the website name that you want to check, the tutorial library is one that I run at the moment so let's run through that and the number of levels you want to check. So if I put a 5 in there that will now check 5 steps away from the home page. So it will look at every page that the user can get to within 5 clicks of your initial start page. Then I can ask it to hyperlink page names if I want or I can add any URLs or any text strings that I want to make sure that don't get logged for whatever reason. And then all I do is I click the check now button. It gives me a quick warning message, say yes to that. And you can see in the background now it's scanning the site, it's collecting the information from the site and putting it directly into my Excel spreadsheet. So we get a little progress bar going at the bottom to show how close it's getting to the end. So rather than sit here and watch all this time, I'm just going to press any key to stop the search and see what we've got. Say so yes to stop the search. And effectively what we've got now is it's gone through every page in the site so far. It's come up with the URL. Let's just expand these so we can see them. So we've got the URL of the page, the title on the page. So here we can see I've got a lot of duplicate titles. I probably want to have a look at that to see if I can optimize that a bit more. Keywords found within the meta tags. Again, I've got some problems here on my site I still need to look at. I've got some blank keywords, so I'm missing tricks there what the meta tag description tag is. This is important tag to go into sort of um, searches for MSN and things. It's what's displayed to the user. And how many steps away from the home page it was. So these are all one step away. These were two steps away. And finally, it tells me which page the actual link to this page was found on. So this was all found from the home page. And then these links here were found from this page here. So very, very quickly, I've got a very good overview of my site. It will let me know if any of the links and pages it thought it was going to find, it can't find. Or it will actually allow me to go, once I've collected that data, to create a Google XML sitemap as well. So we'll do more on that in a different tutorial. So that's it. It's simply one form. Enter the detail, press the button, and all that data for your website will go straight into an Excel spreadsheet for you to analyze, for you to find the problems, and then for you to go back and uh, correct. Each time you run it, it creates a new sheet. So you can actually create a history of this. Here we can see I ran this on the 31st of December at 1 minute past 12. If I ran it again, I'd get another one at 2 minutes past 12 or 3 minutes past 12. So I can keep a history of the site as well as a single snapshot. Download it. It's entirely free of charge and you can use it today.